So Amy, we're here today to talk about common questions we get asked in May. And as you know, India, Swifts, Swallows and House Martins have arrived, so we do get a lot of questions centred around these summer visitors. I think it's a really nice sign of summer arriving when you have birds like house martins flying overhead and catching insects in their flight. All of these birds do typically fly and you'll see the insects, the acrobatics are amazing. House martins are one of the first of these arrivals to come. They'll arrive around mid-March and then there'll be reports of them nesting in the eaves of buildings. You'll find their mud nests typically around four or five, all nesting on your house or building. And there have been reports of even more nests than this, so hundreds of nests all next to each other. Town colonies, they are smaller, but in the countryside where they have so much more space and also just more insects for them to feed on, they can actually build hundreds, so it's amazing to see. And how can you tell if you've seen a house martin? House martins are a beautiful blue-black colour, but then they have white underneath and also a white rump, so that's something to look for, but they'll have a forked tail rather than the streamers that the swallow have. So swallows tend to arrive in April and they nest in the countryside in outbuildings and barns unlike house martins that nest under the eaves of a house and they're also frequently seen perched on telephone wires as well. Swifts also are something that we often get reports of them being confused with house martins or swallows but once you know the difference it's quite easy just because instead of having a pale underneath like the other two they'll actually be a sooty colour and just have a small pale section on their throat so that's always something to look for. They also have the forked tail, but they do lack the streamers as swallows. So swallows are always good to notice if you have the streamers. But swifts also have a great call that you'll be able to hear as it's almost a screaming. <laughs> Don't worry if you do have a nest site nearby, as then quiet when they're at the nest. It's really good because them being communal nesters, it could get very noisy otherwise. Definitely very noisy, but in May, when we're able to have a walk around the lodge, the reserve is amazing for having screaming parties, so I was reported on Swift Mapper. Yeah, Swift Mapper is a really great tool, so you can use it to um, record old nests, or you can use it to record current nests, and also if you put up a nest box as well. Because unfortunately, Swifts and House Martins are red listed species, so they do need all the help that they can get. Swifts have sadly lost a lot of their nesting sites and buildings, so one thing that you can do to help is to put up nest boxes for them or install Swift bricks. There are a lot of other things that we can do just besides nest boxes as well, isn't there? Yeah, so lots of our summer migrants rely on insects to feed themselves and their chicks, um, and the concern is that there's a severe decline in insect numbers. So what you can do to help is to encourage insects wherever possible. So you could do that by creating a pond or by creating a wildflower meadow or even putting up um, window boxes with wildflowers in. And there's nothing wrong with having wildflowers. It's a bit of colour, so that's always nice. But unfortunately, weather can also affect house martins and swallows in particular. That's right. So if you have a dry spell, what we recommend doing is creating a muddy patch in the garden. Um, that way house martins can use it to repatch old nests and also to create new ones. Um, you might also find that nests have fallen down and they've broken. So what you can do then is to create a substitute nest. So you can create a substitute nest from a, a small shallow tub, um, like an ice cream tub like the one I have here. Um, you need to have drainage holes in the bottom and then just put in the old nest with the nestlings, attach it to where the nest was originally under the eaves of the house. Okay, they'll never know. So that's really good. Definitely be on the lookout for dry weather. It sounds like there's a lot that we can do in our own homes. I've already got my nest boxes up. Oh, that's great to hear. And I also have a muddy puddle in the garden as well to help them.